Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So, today in this lecture, we will discuss about basic practices of crops. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have discussed about what is a crop and the two main types of crops, which are Kharif crops and Rabi crops. So, now we will discuss about the practices done by farmers. Okay, so Students, let me tell you that cultivation of the crops involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time. Okay, now you may find these activities are similar to those carried out by a gardener or even by you when you grow ornamental plants in your house. So these activities or tasks are referred to as they are referred to as the activities undertaken by farmers undertaken by farmers to for cultivation of crops for cultivation of crops over a period of time are called as are called as agriculture agricultural practices okay students so i am writing here all the practices okay so these are total seven practices first is preparation of soil Second is sowing. Third is adding manure and fertilizers. Adding manure and fertilizers. Okay. So fourth one is irrigation. Fifth one is protection from weeds. Protecting from weeds. Okay, so and sixth one is harvesting, and then is last but not the least is storage. So, student, these are the seven practices that are undertaken by farmers for cultivation of crops. So, we will start discussing these practices one by one okay so let me first erase this and i am starting with the first practice called as preparation of soil so student the first practice is preparation of the soil so we will discuss this now okay so preparation of the soil is the very first step before growing a crop so one of the it is one of the most important task in agriculture is to one of the most important task in agriculture is to turn or is to turn the soil and loosen it okay so this allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil this allows roots to penetrate deep into the soil deep into the soil okay so why we require the means the soil to loosen it because the loosened soil helps in growth of the earthworms and microbes present in the soil so i am writing here why we require soil to be loosened soil to be loosened 
so the answer is so answer to this is because loosened soils helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in the soil and these organisms like earthworm and microbes are the friends of the farmer since they further turn and loosen the soil since these organisms further turns and loosen the soil and add humus to it okay students so so students as you know that soil contains minerals water air and some living organisms soil contain minerals waters air and some living organisms some living organisms okay so in this way various nutrients held in the dead organisms are released back into the soil okay and these nutrients are again absorbed by the plants and students the process of loosening and turning of the soil the process of loosening and turning of soil is called is called tilling or ploughing okay students so what are the various tools used to do ploughing so now i will let you know the three tools are used so let me first erase all the student here i have written these three tools which are used for the ploughing of the field okay so first one is plough so this is being used since ancient time okay for tilling the soil adding fertilizers to the crop and removing the weeds and this implement is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of pair of bulls or other animals like horses or animals so this is made of a let me read draw it and here it is a like these sharp knives to plow the land and these wooden blocks are carried out by some animals okay let's say these are the animals so which are so students my drawing is not that good i am trying to show you that this is a wooden block okay and there are sharp knife shapes uh, edges are turned off to plow the field and these two animals will pull the this plow okay so the next one is hoe it is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds tool used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil okay it has a long rod or a wood or iron okay and this is the shape in a hole shape in like this a vertical from here you can hold this this is of iron 
this is a wood part so this is somewhat similar to a hoe now a cultivator nowadays ploughing is done by a tractor driven tractor driven cultivator okay so the use of the cultivator saves labor and the time so it is the most advanced and it is the ancient one so student in this lecture we have discussed about the first method of practice of crop crop production okay so in the next lecture we will discuss about sowing the second practice of crop production okay so stay tuned for the next lecture students thank you happy learning